All right, what we're going to work on today is a processing sketch to input a string from the user and then extract out of that string a first name, middle initial, and last name. And the way we'll approach this is we're going to start by putting in all of our comments first based on the algorithm that we developed and then go back and write the code after that. So I'm going to start out with my header up at the top. And all this header up at the top does is tell us what the sketch does, who wrote it, and the date on which it was written. And then what we'll do is put in the rest of our comments uh, according to the flowchart that we've already developed. And again, the flowchart just tells us uh, that we have an input stage, a process stage, and an output stage. So the comment for the input will be something like, get the string using a dialog box. Then our process part, we have a, a part where we're going to get the first name, where we're going to get the middle initial, and where we're going to get the last name. So for the first name, we're going to use the string index of method to find the first space in the string. And then after we do that, we're going to use the string substring method to extract the first name out of that string. Okay, once we have the first name, then we can go ahead and move on and repeat the process to get the middle initial out. And then do the th same thing one final time to get the last name. After our process portion is complete, we can output the results and then finally exit the program. All right, so those comments, again, don't do anything at this point. So the, the sketch doesn't uh, do anything, but at least the comments tell us what we should do, what we should type. And we do uh, the comments based on uh, our code that we've written. So we'll start by filling in our easy parts here. Oh, and we do the comments based on our flowchart, not on our code. Sorry about that. But our easy parts here, we're going to start with an import for javax.swing.star, which gives us our dialog boxes. And then the other easy part is down at the bottom, the exit statement, which shuts down the, the program. OK. For input, what we're going to do is use a dialog box to get the user's input, and we'll store that in a variable named in. So we're going to use joptionpane.show input dialog. And for this method, what we have to provide is the parameter, which is the prompt that's going to be shown in the dialog box. Now, the problem with this prompt is that it's long. So we're going to split it up in our code using string concatenation. And then we're also going to split it up when it shows up on the screen using an escape character. And what that'll do is make the prompt show up on two different lines. So if I run this, you'll see that my prompt now runs over two lines. Obviously nothing happens because I don't have the rest of the processing part, but at least I have the input. Now watch what happens if I take this line feed character out. Now I get a really long prompt with kind of an odd shaped dialog box. So I'd rather have a line feed character to separate that prompt into two lines. It just makes it a little bit more readable. Okay, now we can get on to our process phase. We're going to find the index of the first space in the string and save it in the variable named first space. 
We'll do that with an index of method call, and we're looking for a space. So in dot index of with the space, and notice we have to use single quotes because it's a character, not a string. That gets us where that first space is and stores it in that variable. Then we can save the first name by using the substring method, starting at character 0, going up, but not including the first space. Okay. Now, repeating the process. First of all, we need to find where the second space is. And we're going to do that with an index of method again. We're still looking for a space, but now we're not going to start at the beginning. We're going to start one character to the right of where we found the first space. Then, since we know now where both spaces are, we can get the middle initial by using the substring method again. We'll start at first space plus one and go up through, but not include, the second space character. Then for the last name, what we're going to do is again use the substring method, but we're going to use it a little bit differently. We're going to start at second space plus one and go through the end of the string. Okay? So now we've got all of our uh, pieces, first name, middle initial, and last name. All we have to do is use our J option pane show message dialog method. I remember no is sort of a magic word right now. You just have to have that. The second parameter is the prompt that's going to be displayed. And what we'll do is use string concatenation and escape characters to print out a prompt that will show up on three separate lines. Okay, so now I've got our last name prompt here to finish up. And there we go. Okay, now if we execute this method I made a mistake. J option pane. I forgot to put in the word pane. No wonder that didn't work. Let's try that again. Okay, now if we enter our input like that, it comes back with first name, middle initial, and last name, just like we want. Okay, one more thing. I'd like to show you what happens if you enter input Nah, that's probably not a good name. There we go. John Bob. John Bob doesn't have a middle initial, so what we're going to do is see what happens when we give this as input. All right, we get this cryptic error message that says string index out of bounds exception, which is a little weird. So we need to explain that. When I try this line right here to find the second space, there isn't a second space. So the second space variable gets a really strange result, a weird number. Then when I pass that to the substring method right here, I end up with an error because there isn't a location like that. All right, but if we run it like this with a first name, middle initial, and last name and two spaces in between, we end up with what we want. So this sketch shows you uh, a little bit about string processing. It shows you about uh, method calls, parameters, and return values.